Hello, I'm Mike at Worcester Bosch Group. We put together a simple video showcasing how to connect Worcester and third party controls to our Green Star gas fired boilers. Before we start, it is worth noting that Worcester and third party controls work with our Green Star gas combi and system boilers. However, when installing our controls with a Green Star system boiler, it must be installed with our internal diverter valve kit. This video is broken up into chapters, as the control boards for our gas boilers vary between model and type. In the description below you can find a link to the boiler that's relevant to you. You can also find a link to our wiring guide. Please note that any work related to the boiler must be carried out by a gas safe registered engineer, and any electrical work must only be carried out by a qualified electrician, and in accordance with IET wiring regulations BS7671. You must also isolate the main supplies to the boiler before starting any work and follow all relevant safety precautions. With our Green Star CDI Classic Combi and System Boilers, you will see the following electrical connections. When installing a Worcester plug-in control, firstly ensure that the link is kept in. When installing a third party control, you must remove the link. Ensure that the control is connected to the correct terminations with LS being the live supply, NS being the neutral supply and LR being the live return or switch wire. When the work is completed, create a demand and check that you have 230 volts between neutral and LR. Then end the heating demand and check there is 0 volts between neutral and LR. With the Green Star 27RI and 30RI regular boilers, you will see these connections. Please be aware when using our controls for these Green Star boilers, it must be installed with our Green Star wiring centre and in accordance to its installation instructions. When installing a third party control, ensure the control is connected to the correct terminations. Live neutral and earth is to supply the control and LR is the switch line. When installing a regular boiler, ensure the pump is wired into the dedicated pump connections from the boiler, as this is required for frost protection and the pump overrun function. When the work is completed, create a heating demand and check for 230 volts between the neutral and central heating LR. Then, end the heating demand and check there is 0 volts between the neutral and the central heating LR. When it comes to our Green Star CDI and SI compacts, as well as our iCombi and iSystem boilers, you will see the following connections. When installing a Worcester plug-in control, firstly ensure that the link is kept in. Some of our controls are connected to the EMS plug within the boiler, like the WAVE. Refer to the relevant installation manual for further details. However, if you're installing a Worcester control with a third-party room thermostat, or using a complete third-party control system, the link should be removed. Ensure the control is connected to the correct terminations, using 230V out for live and neutral supplies and the relevant LR for the live return or switch wire, the LR with the radiator for central heating and the LR with the tap for hot water functions. When the work is completed, create a demand and check for 230V between the neutral and the relevant LR. Then end the demand and check there is zero volts between the neutral and the relevant LR. So there you have it. We hope you found this video useful. For further installation advice and hints and tips, please visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel.